Oh, dear lord. Yeah, every time I played this game and I died as a kid because my game was corrupt on my old SNES, um, I couldn't save. So every time I died, I was sent right back here to that same cutscene we just saw on the same rainy night. And I managed to get to, like, Thieves Town in the Dark World, and I went against the, uh, the boss there. Like, I tried to go against the boss, but I couldn't. What happened... I got into there, and I was going around, I killed all the monsters, I did every little thing that I could, but I didn't realize that I had to go to, like, an upper room in the castle. So I didn't realize that I had to go to this, um, room up above, and throw a bomb to a broken area of the floor to let light shine through. I only realized this years later, because when I was playing this, I was, like, 11... 12 years old? No, I was only 11. 12 was when my SNES got thrown out. So, here I am, uh, wandering around, and I managed to go down, and there was this, this dungeon area with this orange woman in a dress. Orange bitch is more like it. Oh my god, she pissed me off something fierce. Now, back to the story. So, I find this orange bitch in a dress. I call her a bitch for good reason. And she's telling me that she wants to escape. She's telling us that she wants to escape this place. So I'm like, okay, sure. You want to get out of here? I want to get out of here. I, this is a pretty tough dungeon. Let's get out of here. And I didn't realize that there was like certain orders you're supposed to go through things. Especially for the dark world. Because like nothing is labeled in the dark world. You just run around and suffer. So I get in there. And I'm looking around. Oh boy. Oh, I sequence broke it all right. I completely um i soft locked myself i completely soft locked myself i didn't realize i had to bomb the ceiling i didn't realize that i had to do a lot of things and so i got this orange bitch and she wanted to get out so i'm like okay yeah you want to get out i want to get out let's go and so i uh literally brought her back to the entrance of the entire dungeon and she wouldn't go out the front door. She's like, oh, we can't go this way. We have to go out the back door. And I'm like, what back door? This is a fucking temple. There's no back doors to this shit. Uh, do you want to go through the boss room or something? What the hell? And of course, I'm like 11 years old at this point. So I have absolutely no idea um, what's happening. I don't know what's going on. I didn't have access to the internet back then. It was nuts. Um, so here I go. I go into the boss room, the door slams shut, this lady walks into the middle of the room and she's standing there, and nothing's happening. There's no light beam coming down from the ceiling because I forgot to bomb the upper floor. Oh no. So she's standing there, the door shut behind me, I have no idea what to do. So here I am, um, I can't figure out what to do, I'm totally stuck. And back then, I did not realize that you could use the magic mirror to teleport yourself to the beginning of the dungeon. I thought it only worked for transporting yourself between the light world and the dark world. So yeah, I got myself completely soft locked and this was after two months of progress in the game. And like I said, I could not save. So I had to keep the console alive and running with the TV just turned off, but the console was running the entire time for two whole months as I'm trying to get through this bloody oh no this guy's being tough so um yeah after two months of progress the entire light world done which i do not remember how to do and uh two temples in the dark world done before doing this i so yeah um screwed myself over when i was a kid unplugged the console from that i uh wanted to put it into storage but um, my mom decided that the Barbies that I wanted to put into the thrift store were more valuable than the game console. So she put the game console in the thrift store and threw out my Barbies. It, well, she put my Barbies into storage and she threw out my game console. So uh, yeah, I never got to play it again until literally just like a little while ago when I managed. So yeah, she got rid of my uh, console. And no, I haven't forgiven her for that. No, I will never forgive her for that. It's not worth forgiving. She threw out my frickin' SNES. I had six games for that thing. She threw them all out. So yeah, that's uh, 
the story of the last time I actually played this game. I was a very small child, and believe it or not, and yes, I'm willing to say this live, uh, this little weirdo right here with the pink hair, Link, first crush. First crush at nine years old was Link. I still am crushing on Link from different versions. I'm that much of a dork.